Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Unix or Linux Nano Editor. So the Nano Editor is something I only recommend for beginners. Because for beginners, things like VI and Emacs can get really confusing and it's best to just start with a simple command line editor. Once you get used to Nano, then you should eventually move on to something like VI. I like VI, some people like Emacs. Doesn't matter which one, they are both very powerful, way more powerful than Nano. So let's get started right now. Nano is included on every Linux system, pretty much. But if you uninstalled it, you can do sudo apt install nano. And this only works if you're on a Debian-based distribution. I already have the latest version. I can clear my screen, and now I can type nano. So this brings us into nano in a blank file. But I have a file called test that I can edit. And if you enter a file name that doesn't exist, it will just create that for you. I already have this file. It says, hello, welcome to the video, blah, 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 blah. The first thing I'm going to show you how to do is to exit. So to exit, just do control X, and this will exit you if you did no changes. But if you did do changes, so I'm going to add another line here, line, line five, just an example. We can do control X, and then I'll say save modified buffer. So this whole, this whole thing is just your buffer, right? So you can save this. Y or N. So if you click N and you go back into it, that will not be saved. But if you do yes, then it will be saved. And next time you go in there, the file will be saved. Next thing I'm going to show you how to do is to go to a line. This only works if you know what line the text is in. It's not a find and replace type of thing. Over here it says control underscore. But to do an underscore, you have to have shift. So just do control shift underscore. And now it'll say enter line number, column number. So I'm going to say five and then a four. So this will bring us to line 5, and then column 4. So now our cursor is at 1, 2, 3, 4. So yes, there we go. The next thing I'm going to show you how to do is to read a file's contents, and then put them in this file. So I have a file called test2, right? So I'm just going to do this, test2. So you can do Control r and test2, so that's my file. I click Enter, and it imports those lines. They say this line was imported from a cool test2 file, and this second line imported from my test2 file. So that's how you import those, instead of copying and pasting from two different nano sessions. So now I'm going to show you how to cut and paste in nano. So you could just go like this and copy this, and then do the universal control c and then control v But if you want a separate clipboard or clip buffer, then you can use nano's cut and paste right here, cut and paste. So you can go up to a line and then do control K and this cuts that line. So now if we go somewhere else and we paste it, you can do control U to paste. And there we go, we just moved that line. Something else that I do recommend that you know is cursor position. So you can do control C. So this shows you what line you're in. Column one, I'm in character 165 out of 166. And it tells you the percentage of how far you are in the file. I'm going to show you something similar to control F or find or replace. So we can do control W. So control W and then you can search for something. So I'm going to search for second and it brings our cursor to the first second. So if I add another second over here and I do control W, second, enter, it brings me to that. But if I do control W again, I can go to the next one and so on. So now I'm going to show you how to replace things. So do control backslash and now you're going to search for something to replace. So you're going to search for, I'm going to search for this, enter, and now you can replace it with hello, which will make our sentences very messed up. So we can click enter now and it'll go through each one of these and say replace this instance. So after you click Y for yes to replace this instance, it will go to the next one and say can you replace this instance. But if you want to replace all of them, press A to do all. So for example, I'm just going to click Y. So it replace that one and Y and there you go. That's the end of our tutorial for now. If you like this tutorial, feel free to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. By the way, this is VI right here. It is very fast and it's productive. And if you think that you'll be able to understand the commands of VI, then I suggest you check out my video on VI. See you next time.